And how do y'all feel about oh. seeing that man in the walls right now? I think it was great, lots of comedy, and I can't believe the ending. And what about you? No spoilers. Uh, it was funny. <laughs> it was funny? <laughs> That's all you gonna say? You get a thumbs up? Yeah, sure, a thumbs up. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eli and friends. It's Eli and my boy, uh, Manny. Jerry saw the movie with us, but he just left. He's walking away right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Go mm -hmm, gotta go to work. So, we just saw Ant Man and the Wasp. You wanna give your opinion? Spoiler free. You never seen the first one either, so. I haven't do do? seen the first one, but just watching the second one, and I haven't watched any of the uh, other Marvel movies. Not all of them. It was alright. Uh, I have a lot of questions about like the whole, ex the whole shrinking and stuff, and like how all that works, and like no spoiler, somebody's powers that they gain. But other than that, I thought it was a pretty funny movie with. The Pretty good action choreography and other stuff like that. Uh, I give it a quarter thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you like the first Ant Man movie, it's gonna be just like that. It's it's not gonna be no Infinity War movie. It's not gonna be Black Panther. This is a uh, slow burner like the first one. So if you're okay with a slow burner for an action movie, yeah, that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. I think it's funnier than the first one. The fun, uh, first one was funny, but this one was funnier and stuff. But it's more of a small scale stuff, so don't expect the Black Panther scale and then the Infinity War scale. Expect it small, then with the villains, they try to do something different where it's not no world domination, it's no Killmonger, no Thanos things. And they have like one villain where they're just trying to do something for themselves. And the other villain, he's like more of the b list type of villain. So that's how they do the villains to there. It's no let's destroy the world and any of that type of stuff. So it's a, it's a smaller story and it explains where it was during the Infinity War. But besides that, it was a good movie. That I do also want to say that there was some parts in the movie where it looked like it was from like a TV show where like the quality dropped a little with bit. With the CGI? With the CGI and stuff like that. And it looked like you would see it from a... Uh, what's the show I can't remember. Uh, CW shows? Yeah, not a CW show, more like an ABC show. ABC, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? It, it looked like it would be long in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, sometimes they would be talking, like, the background and stuff like that. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really liked the movie. It was good. It's not uh, no Black Panther or Infinity War, like I said, but it's a good Marvel movie if you like Ant-Man and the Wasp, so yeah. If you like a uh, slow burner type of Marvel movie, that, you know, just yeah. I give it a... Uh, Good, good. I mean, he gives us uh, okay. So yeah, that's our review for Amen and the Lost. Till next time. <laughs>